Zori Mori here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and try on video. I'm gonna share with you the latest from Everlane Madewell and the very last of Cezanne's fall collection. Now if you're part of my Facebook group you've probably already seen sneak peeks of a lot of these outfits. I've shared them on there the moment I photographed everything. If you're not part of the group I'm gonna link it in the description box of this video. Please join us on there. It's a great way to connect on a day-to-day basis. I share there about new collection releases, restocks, daily outfit inspiration. You can ask me questions. It's a great way to stay in touch between the YouTube videos. I'm also going to link my small fashion account on Instagram. Join me on there as well. I share daily outfit inspiration. If you enjoy watching today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. Without any further ado, let's get into today's video. This here is the Tom Jumper. I was instantly captivated by the color. Burgundy red is one of my favorite fall slash winter colors. I love the statement buttons that run down the front. I went with size extra small, which is my usual size by Cezanne. You don't have to size up or size down. The composition of this sweater is 33% kid mohair, 33% wool, 28% polyamide, and 6% elastin. Here's a close-up look of the material tag in case you're buying secondhand. Oops, there you go. The sweater is fuzzy, which might lead to some shedding. Be mindful of that. I know some people really don't like the fuzzy sweaters and there is itch to the touch it definitely will bother people with really sensitive skin one thing you can do if you really like this design and you want to give it a try but you have sensitive skin is you can get one of those thermal layers by Uniqlo I wear them underneath my sweaters in the winter anyways just for the extra warmth but it's also a great way to protect your sensitive skin from the sensation of the more itchy walls here I have the Noe shorts by Cezanne. They are suede with denim blue leather detailing. And what caught my eye in these shorts is the fact that they're made out of suede, but not in a traditional suede color. When we think of suede, we think of camel, or caramel, or black, but not necessarily denim blue. So that kind of strikes a very interesting balance between a statement piece and a classic piece. They're super soft to the touch like butter they have pockets at the back and pockets at the front the fit is super flattering it's kind of straight it's not ballooning around your ties i recommend you go with your usual size i did 34 and there are no surprises in the cut all together i think these are adorable and i highly recommend them this here is the MAC coat, the long version by Everlane. I went with size extra extra small because the design of this trench coat is A-lined. Um, that means that as long as you fit it on the shoulders, the silhouette will be really nice. I wanted to get a trench coat and for the longest time I was torn between this one and Cezanne's trench coat. But I figured getting an A-line shape versus the more cinched in the way Cezanne coat as a first item to add to my closet is better. If I end up wearing this a lot now in the fall and in the winter here in San Francisco, then come springtime I might add Cezanne's version to my spring slash summer wardrobe. Uh, this trench is made out of 100% cotton. The lining is recycled polyester. It's a classic, very well-made, beautiful color, versatile. And if you're in market for something similar, I highly recommend you check it out. This here is Everlane's Recycled Cashmere Stoop Waffle Turtleneck. If you've been following me for a while, you will remember that last winter I got this same sweater in a lighter color. I actually ended up wearing it quite a bit. It's very soft and very comfortable. So since I've been on the market for a black jumper and I specifically wanted a turtleneck that is textured because I'm planning to wear it more in a monochromatic setting and it really helps to have some interesting texture on it. Um, unfortunately, most of Cezanne's black jumpers, which is usually my number one stop for sweaters, they're kind of like more soft and fuzzy. Um, therefore, I turn to Everlane. I know that I love this design. I know that I'll wear it a lot. And here we are. 
I went with size extra small, which is one size bigger than what I got last year in the light color, just because I have this vision for this winter to wear things that are a little bit more loose. I just have these like a couple of outfits that I really want to try and I knew that going extra small will be the better um, choice for this one. These here are my first Everlane pants. I don't know why it took me so long to get pants by Everlane, but here we are. I really like these. They are barrel pants. They come in multiple colors. What a barrel pant essentially is, is a pant that is very tight around your waist and there's extra space around the hip area and um, towards the ankle. They're straightening and kind of tightening. As a person who has small waist, wide hips, and a long torso, which leads to my legs not being super long, I think a barrel pant kind of fits my body type perfectly. Bonus points for the fact that barrel pants are usually cropped, which means I don't have to take them to the tailor. They're already an ankle length, which is great. This is a very versatile design. And if you're looking for something functional and utilitarian to add to your closet, definitely check them out. Moving on, I found this button-down skirt by Madewell that reminds me of a design we've seen on Cezanne's website during the fall collection. I feel like Cezanne's version just sold out so quickly and I personally never saw it restocked. So if you're in the market for something similar, the colorway is very, very close to it. I love the front pockets. They are actually really deep and functional. They're not just for looks. I went with size double zero, which is my usual size by Madewell. No surprises there. In terms of composition, we have 65% wool, 18% polyamide, 10% polyester, 5% acrylic, and 2% other fibers. The skirt is lined from the inside. And right now, uh, Madewell are running a lot of sales, so you'll probably be able to get it 20 to 30% off. And another barrel pen. This one is Madewell in khaki color. The color is so beautiful. It has functional pockets, it's soft, it's stretchy. I went with size 23, which is my usual size for Madewell bottoms. These are selling really, really quickly. I noticed that any pair of pants that are in khaki color and fits well just goes so quick. So I advise you, if you're considering these, grab them now. And if you change your mind, just return them because Madewell doesn't really restock pants. They restock jeans designs, but even with jeans, they tend to change the colors. So what I'm saying is act quickly. This is a cardigan by Madewell. I love the knit design along the neckline. It follows on the back as well. The chunky buttons on the front are a nice detail. This will look so beautiful when you open it and you throw it over a delicate floral dress. Alternatively, you can also keep it closed and wear it as a jumper with jeans or a pair of pants. This color was my favorite, but it comes in two or three more colors. If you like the design, you know, check it out. I'll link it in the description of this video. I went with size extra, extra small, which is my usual size for Madewell. You don't need to size up or down unless you want to get that boyfriend look. In terms of composition, you have 55% acrylic, 23% wool, and 22% polyamide. All right, guys, this is it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about these items, which are your favorites, are you planning to get anything? If you enjoy watching today's video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.